welcome back. So today we're gonna have a little throwback kind of moment because a couple of days ago I was cleaning up my old art supplies, those that I was using when I was a kid, and I found a gem. Believe me when I say this, this was the object that everyone wanted to have, everyone desired, and I'm talking about this guy right here, the 90s color switching pen. I don't know if this has a particular name, but I'm calling it a 90s pen. And those of you that were born in 90s or early 2000s probably know what I'm talking about and you experienced this when this was in. <laughs> and I remember that everyone was so obsessed with this pen, everyone wanted to have it because you could just have one pen and so many colors inside, so this was a really awesome device for back then. And nowadays I'm also seeing a lot of makeup companies taking this trend uh, back into life and making this into some uh, makeup products. So this also inspired me to take my spin on uh, this kind of device and try to do some kind of challenge, art challenge with it. So today I'm gonna attempt to make some cool art using only this pen and I'm already super excited to see how it's gonna turn out and if I'm actually able to create something using only pen. And if you're as excited as me to see what the outcome of this challenge is gonna be, then make sure you stay with me and keep on watching. But just before we jump into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future uploads. And well, if this is done, let's just go ahead with today's video. All right, so first of all, I checked if this pen is even working. So I pressed all the colors down to see if uh, nothing is broken, if the colors are coming down and they were, so I was glad and I could proceed to swatching the colors. And I took some random piece of paper to see what kind of colors I have to work with. And uh, well, the colors are nothing spectacular. It could have been worse, it could have been better, but I was happy that I had some pinks in the set. I also had brown and orange, will, which will be very good to achieve a skin color. I also had uh, two blues, two greens and one black, which will be perfect for the outline. So in general, I was rather happy with the colors I had. And also with this color scheme, I already had a concept in my mind. I wanted to make a girl with pink hair, uh, some bluish kind of um, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever, some blue clothing, and obviously some more tan skin using uh, brown and orange. And yeah, that was my concept for today's drawing. So I started off with making the outline with my favorite Prismacolor Call Erase Pencil and I also didn't pay a lot of attention to make the outline super perfect and refined because I wanted to leave the room to experiment with the main tool that I'm using today which is the 90s pen so that's why I did the sketch very gently so I could go ahead with my pen and do all the work with it. And the concept for my today's drawing was a girl that would be really playful, happy, just in general super fun. So I drew her with this really um, cool face expression. She was uh, blinking with one eye, she also had this huge smile sticking out her tongue. So this face expression in general is already giving those uh, really fun and playful vibes, so I really liked it about this drawing. And I also added this kind of peace sign um, that she's doing with her hand over her face a little bit. So this all together was giving me those really happy vibes that I wanted to draw this time. And well, I also was a little bit worried how this pen is gonna work with uh, the concept I had in my mind, but as soon as I put the pen onto the paper, I was so uh, actually surprised that this pen was working so good. It was maybe the best pen that I used in my life. It wasn't gliding the best on the paper because sometimes it was really skippy, but in general, I was really positively surprised. And well, that is all that I have to say about my today's drawing and my experience using this uh, 90s pen. And uh, well, now I'm gonna leave you to just enjoy the rest of the drawing process and I'll see you by the end of the video.
So that is all for today's challenge video and let me know how did you like the artwork that I created using only this pen. I honestly think that it came out super awesome and I totally didn't expect it to be that cool. And I would love to hear you out in the comments and tell me what do you think about this drawing and this challenge in general. And also if you enjoyed my video then make sure you leave thumbs up under this video so I know that you actually liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my future uploads and also ring the bell to be notified uh, whenever I upload because YouTube is uh, doing this weird thing with algorithms so you guys are not able to see all of my videos unless you're actually subscribed and you ring the bell so make sure you do that to not miss anything. And also you can follow me on my Instagram where I post a lot of behind the scenes and work in progress pictures and videos. So go and follow me there too. And that will be all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in. But this is just for us now.